Hi, I'd like to show you another example of a, um, a masking application that might be useful for you. This is the, the uh, bowling ball trick and um, the final product of course is what appears to be a bowling ball rolling away from you and you get to uh, feel that a 3D effect because the holes appear, disappear, and reappear again. Of course, this is all trickery because this is not a 3D object. Okay, in Anime Studio, I've got um, a folder here with all of my items and a subfolder that actually has the items that are going to be working with the mask. All right, outside of that subfolder, is simply my background, my bowling alley. I just have one simple JPEG image just to um, give this example a little bit more interest instead of just showing this plain old bowling ball rolling around. Okay, and inside this folder, this is where the mask is at and that's why it is in a separate folder. Okay, uh, first created the folder and if I double click this right now and you can look at the layer settings the masking for this group mask is set at hide all. Okay, layer masking was left at the default mask this layer. So I'll click um, OK. Inside the folder I just have two things, the ball holes and the ball. Alright, the ball holes, double clicking that, the layer settings for masking, it says mask this layer. Okay, the ball Double click that. The masking for the ball says clear the mask, then add this layer to it. So we'll show you what happens when you set this up this way. Um, okay, first off, uh, in order to animate this so it looked as though the ball is traveling away, which means it's going to have to get smaller as it's going up the lane there, I first selected both the holes and the ball together by holding down the shift key and that way uh, when I went to the end where I wanted it to stop and then I resized you know in order to create that illusion that it's larger here closer to us and smaller away then the ball holes of course uh, you know were resized along with the ball so you wanna you know make sure that that um, that gets worked out in whatever your you're animating. Okay, so um, once that was accomplished though, of course these holes are going to have to be tweaked quite a bit more. The ball is just going on a straight path. The holes are actually going to be going back and forth and I'll show you this. Okay, so the animation on these three ball holes which are in one layer is as such. As we go forward with that red circle, the holes, as you can see, are actually traveling back and forth, and back and forth, or up and down, whichever the case may be, across that circle, all right? That's what is achieving this illusion that we've got a rolling ball, all right? The mask, you can see that right here. All right, let me zoom in. There, now you'll be able to see it better. Because of the mask that we set up, when these ball holes travel faster up towards the top here, they are invisible beyond the boundaries of this circle. All right, that's the mask. That way, it appears as though the ball is rolling forward and we can no longer see the holes from our perspective right? The holes would be underneath the ball now. As it keeps traveling though, we, you know, we do have to get those holes back towards us because they need to reappear back on that other side of the ball. All right, and so here, you can see that now they come back up around. All right, so as, it's, as the red circle travels forward, the holes go back and forth and back and forth, right? 
Okay, well, that's fine for masking this off as I showed you here with uh, the moving forward motion. But when I have to backtrack, of course, I had to set the ball hole layer to be invisible or else you would see it traveling backwards across the ball. Sure, you could go around, you know, since everything is going to be invisible outside of this boundary, but, you know, why? That seemed like a kind of a, a bit of a pain to me uh, when I can just very simply set the layer to be invisible in this range and then I can just pull it backwards so that I can then come back up and start over again, right? So if I go ahead and click in um, on my ball hole layer over here and then you can see that I unchecked the visible box right for just that amount of time and then when it's got to come when we need to see it again when it's going to come back up over the ball uh, of course then it's visible again so that kind of makes it real simple because otherwise you, you know and having to go around you know, sure, you can do it if you want to. It really just didn't seem worth the trouble to me. All right, so that's how um, you achieve this illusion that you do have a spherical object rolling along and you're only seeing some uh, mark or item or ball holes or whatever the case may be that appear and uh, disappear as it's moving and rolling. And I did guess at my timing, and um, you know, you might need to put together some kind of mathematical formula for whatever you might be doing with this, um, but I felt confident that I could get a fairly accurate uh, um, ball roll effect if I just went ahead and guessed that timing out. So let me know if you have any other questions.